but we still ended up persevering and getting a clean 12 and one, guys. Did we complete the Rage Challenge? We have not completed the Rage Challenge, so we're gonna go right into the Rage Challenge. We're gonna be rocking this Three Musketeer bait deck. You know, everyone's running spawners, so we gotta run Bowler. We gotta bounce back all of the spawners, make sure that we kill those. And obviously, because Collector gets raged up, it's actually gonna give 11 Elixir compared to the traditional 8 Elixir. So it's way better and way more efficient to run Elixir Collector in every single Rage deck. So let's go jump right into the challenge. Let's assert some dominance, guys. Let's get it rocking. We got a game against Freddy. Freddy isn't ready, man. He just drops a Tesla in the middle. He's gonna be super sad because we drop a piped up collector. It's getting enraged. I like having skeletons and ice spear in this deck because I can just cycle so much faster to another collector. He's gonna have Tesla and uh, Expo. That's a fact, man. He's gonna have Expo. <laughs> if he doesn't have Expo and he's doing that, then he's completely wild. Okay, I guess he's really wild. Fortunately for us, we got the log. The log, unfortunately, the spells cannot get raged up, so... That's one thing that you just wish would happen, but it just isn't a reality that we can have. Bowler is ballin'. We're gonna be dropping Ice Spirit. We're gonna drop Skeletons in case he zaps. I probably should have done that in the opposite order. I should drop Skeletons, then Ice Spirit, because if he did get that on top of the tower, then we would have been able to redirect it. So, we're gonna go in for three Musketeers. He's just going in for the Trump Wall of Tesla. What is this madness, man? Can you get this out of my face? It's a little bit of a disgrace. We don't like that here. Oh, the bowler is rolling a strike right down the middle of the map. We are going to get so much tower damage in the right-hand lane. It looks like we're just going to take it outright. I'm going to be saucing out a log because I still have Skeleton's Ice Spirit. Guys, how many more Elixir Collectors can we get? This is madness. He doesn't even know, man. He's not about it. We got to go in for Skeletons. We're going to go in for Bowler. Unfortunately, he's going to end up doing a ton of damage to us there. But our towers are raged up too, so that's even crazier, honestly. We go for Valk. So his Mega Knight is out of cycle. I feel, I feel like we can go for the three muskies at the river. Feeling ballsy out here, man. I think we can three crown him as well before he gets back to another Mega Knight. I'm not sure though. We're gonna try our hardest. He's definitely getting enough elixir for a Mega Knight, but he's not dropping anything. He's just gonna let it happen. GG, well played, Freddy. You weren't ready. Do you know that your own personal elixir is raged too? Yeah, I did know that. All right, this guy is gonna be running a Hog Rider deck with Ice Spirit. This man is a legend. Gonna have a very fast Hog Rider cycle deck in Rage. So that Hog Rider is gonna be extraordinarily annoying for us to deal with because it's so fast now. It's testing my reactions, guys. I'm gonna end up having to go for a Poison. He's got Executioner, he's gonna have Electro Wizard, so he's gonna have a lot of defensive capability with this deck. I know that I probably wanna go for an Elixir Collector in the back because we, we saw Hog Rider, right? So his spell, if he has Fireball or Poison, we don't want him to hit this tower too. So he's gonna hit the Healthy Tower. This is working out pretty well for us. I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna end up dropping my bowler just yet. I'm gonna go for three musketeers because he's exhausted his fireball already. We're gonna see if he has Valkyrie. That could be pretty amazing for him if he has it. Really bad for us. He's gonna have XC. I'm gonna end up going for a Valk with the lane of the one musky. Wow, he over defended that so hard, man. He's like, you shall not pass. And then he ends up dropping an executioner and an electro wizard. Biggest overcommitment of 2018, man. So, I assume he's probably going to be dropping a lot right here. I kind of want to just go in for the Collector, try to make him Fireball, then try to defend with Ice Spear and Skeletons and cycle back to another Collector. This deck is so extraordinarily strong just because that you, uh... This deck is super strong just because you have, like, Skeletons, Ice Spirit. You have all these cards that have very fast cycles, so... I want to cycle those. I want to get back to another Collector. Cl keep Collectoring up. Go for three Musketeers when he Fireballs, and then he kind of loses the game, right? That's what's up. We go for three muskies here and see if he fireballs them, and then I can go for a collector in the back. Oh, he's gonna NATO. Should have expected that. Oh, he done goofed, guys! The three muskies were moving too fast in the rage. They were totally not about it. So it definitely looks like he has a counter deck to us, but you know, we're still uh, making strides in life. Ice Spirit, Bowler, Skeletons. Actually, his win condition can't really break through us. It's pretty funny. I guess this deck that I formulated is pretty OP. If a Hog Rider, Fireball, Executioner, NATO deck can't even beat it, I don't know what can, man. If you Fireball that, you're just going to take the fattest L of the Collectors, man. I don't even care. You can't get a Hog Rider through this. There's absolutely no way. You're insane. He's insane, guys. He's wild. What is he thinking? <laughs> We're just going to keep stockpiling up bowlers. We're balling. I'm going to go for a Valk. 
Oh, no. I thought that was going to work out a little bit better. I thought the Valk gravitational pull was going to be a little bit better. Oh, he bounces the Valkyrie closer to his tower. Okay, I can vibe with that. That's two hits. That's just like poison log and I win. Two poisons, one log, one victory. That's what's up, guys. Go for Ice Spirit. I'm going to go for a log. I'm going to cycle back to a poison. We're going to be balling. We're going to throw strikes on this hog rider, man. Get out of here, hog. You're not allowed to do anything besides getting turned into bacon today. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Pleasure playing against you. No way, Jose. Okay, so he's going to go for an Elixir Collector. Unfortunately, we don't have our own Elixir Collector, so I'm just going to poison it. And then I'm going to try to get back to a Collector as soon as possible, boys. We need to. We go for an Ice Spirit. He's going to go for a Wizard in the back. He's a Harry Potter. Okay, so you're going to have Golem or you're going to have a B-Town deck because we end up having Bowler and we have Valkyrie. So it's not going to turn out so hot for you, man. It's most certainly not going to turn out so hot for you. So I'm going to end up going in for a Skeletons. I'm going to go for a Log on top of the Harry Potter. I'm going to go for a Poison on defense and we clean everything up. So that was a little bit sketchy, because, but because of our incredibly fast cycle with Skeletons and Ice Spirit, we just get back to a Poison and we don't have any worries. So I'm going to end up going in for a Bowler in the back. Go for Elixir Collector here. See if he poisons it. Then I drop two Musketeers in one lane and laugh at him. I really want him to poison that. Please, dude. You know you want to. Come on, big dog. Unfortunately, he's not about it at all. I end up having to go for a poison on defense here. And that's totally something I did not want to do. I'm going to end up going in for a Valkyrie on defense as well. And it looks like he might end up taking my tower, but I'm going to go for another Collector. And this is what's going to be really solid for me. So we're going to have an unparalleled Elixir Advantage. And I don't know if he's going to be able to deal with this. Unfortunately, the Golemites might explode on top of it. Uh, that's a major yikes for me, big dog. I'm going to end up having to go in for a Bowler. I'm going to end up going in for an Ice Spirit. I'm going to go for three Muskies. I'm going to split them, though. I'm going to split two towards the opposite lane. And then I can go in for a Poison on top of this. This is going to be a pretty baller Poison on top of the Night Witch, the Collector. Just about everything we could possibly ask for here. I'm going to end up going in for a Valkyrie as well. And I know he's going to go for a Wizard sometime soon, but he's actually going to go for a Bowler. Interesting maneuver by him. He's just going to let the right side forfeit? Okay, man. You're really, really wild then. All I got to do is go in for an Ice Spear. I got to go in for Skeletons. And because of our extraordinarily fast cycle, it doesn't even matter that we don't have like an abundance of air answers or if he has Poison Bait as he does in this deck. You would think that our deck would not work against it, but we would just get an unrecoverable Elixir Advantage just because we're able to outcycle him and get more Collectors on the field. Our deck is just so much faster. Collectors mean a lot, man, so... We're just getting more and more collectors on the map. I'm not going to go here because he's probably going to go for a graveyard, right? So, not about it. He just dropped a Night Witch right into its death. I don't understand that play, but I'm appreciating it, man. I vibe with that. So, I want to go for three Musketeers up close and personal. Even if he poisons, it does end up killing the Golem, so I don't really care. Could go for a poison here. He might actually go in for a graveyard, but I know that he's not going to have any supporting units, so it's not going to be worthwhile for him. I'm actually going to go for Skeletons. I'm also going to go for a Valkyrie. I tried to keep the Muskie alive. It didn't really work. I'm going to go in for an Ice Spirit as well. And then I'm going to go in for a Bowler. As long as the Bowler comes down, we are fine. And it looks like I'm actually able to go for a Poison and finish off the W. GG. Well played. And peace out, Girl Scout. Poison does 216. It's actually impossible for you to defend that, no matter what you try. Your spells will not save you, sir. All right, guys. We got a game against Piped we're going to end up dropping a Collector in the middle. We're going to get ready with the Night Spirit. I definitely want to poison that as soon as possible to deny as much Elixir from that Collector. And we're going to see what he wants to do. He's going to go for a Giant. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in for a Bowler. Same lane as the Giant. I actually want to go in for the outside corner so then it's not spell susceptible as much. If he has Fireball, if he has Poison, he's barely going to hit this. He's going to end up going in for Bats and he's going to go in for three Musketeers. This is what he has. He's got three Musketeers Giant. I'm going to go for three Muskies all in one lane. He goes in for a Zap. I'm going to kind of laugh at him as I end up going in for another Collector. Doesn't really matter for me at all. I just go in for Collectors. He still has to respond to this. We get an Elixir Advantage that's unrivaled, and then he loses the game. So I'm actually going to go in for a Poison on top of the Collector. Deny as much Elixir as possible. If he goes in for three Muskies at the River, I have Valkyrie. Doesn't even matter to me, honestly. The one thing that is kind of difficult for me to deal with is definitely going to be the, uh, the Minion Horde. So I have to get ready for that. I know that he's most likely going to drop it all in one lane here, so I'm going to go in for three muskies all in one lane as well. He ends up dropping two, but the giant is very far ahead, so that giant is wandering into uncharted territory that he's not welcome yet, man. He doesn't know, but he's going to get eaten alive. That is a snack and a half, guys. A glorious feast. He's going to go for a zap, and that means that I can just go in for another collector, then cycle skeletons. I want to go cycle skeletons after, so then I can get back to another collector even faster. So I always want to cycle my one elixir cards after I cycle my collector, so then I can cycle them again, 
kit back to another collector, and then the cycle just keeps happening, man. So, what's up? He's going to go in for another collector. We go in for a poison. We drop another collector. And we're just going to get an absurd elixir advantage that he's not able to deal with. If I wasn't running this, I would probably run a deck with Miner because everyone else is running Collector and then they wouldn't really be able to defend their Collector because this deck doesn't have great answers. Like, Miner Poison would be really freaking good in this. He's going to go in for a Giant. I'm going to go in for three Muskies. If he goes in for three Muskies, I poison them and laugh at him as well. Like, there's so many things I could do. Actually, not even going to do that. I'm going to go for a Boulder because we're balling. He's going to drop a Battle Ram right into it. I'm waiting for the Minion Horde because then I'm going to actually go in for a Poison on top of that. We go for a Skeleton, so we're going to go for a Poison on top of the Minion Horde, as I promised. And he's going to give me Valkyrie value. I'm going to go in for Elixir Collector. And now, notice how we have three Collectors on the field, and this man is sitting on a flaccid zero Collectors. This is going to be a sad time for him as I go in for a Bowler in the back. And then I could actually go drop three Muskies all in one lane if I really want to, because he hasn't shown any spell whatsoever. So this is going to be the ultimate meme machine, guys. What are you going to do when we have the Parade, the Parade push coming at you? And it is not letting up anytime soon. This is going to be a stellar victory for us. I don't even know, man. I can drop three muskies. Let's get six muskies on the field. Let's get a true parade push, guys. We are getting the bowler balling on top of the tower. All we got to do is sauce out a log and a poison, and we collect our W. He had 261. Poison plus log does 300. He was well in within vicinity. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Yo, this deck is busted. People do not know what the heck they're doing. Go to recycle in the collector in the middle. See what he wants to do. Oh, he's going for a bar, but little does he know that he's going to get met with a bowler. It's going to be super sad, guys. I have no shame in destroying and dismantling these people's dreams. Like, if you're running a spawner, you don't deserve to have any of your dreams to transpire into reality. They all decide, or they all deserve to just, like, only be dreams. Only dreams for you, man. You never get anything happening that you want in life. So I'm just going to keep going for collectors, cycling bowlers, and then he's going to lose this game. <laughs> Whether he likes it or not. So he's going to go for a fireball. I'm just going to go for a Valkyrie. I'm actually going to go for a log as well. Just to make sure the Valk is able to shut everything down, cycle back. Log is a very nice card that you're able to cycle pretty frivolously, honestly. Oh, is he? Alright. I guess I can't go for a collector as much as I want to. Rogue Ghost is going to be kind of obnoxious, but I'm just going to go in for another Collector. We're going to have two Collectors on the field. He still has to deal with a Bowler. We're going to get an Instrumentable Elixir Advantage, and then he loses the game. So that's what we're going to vibe off of. He's going to go in for a Musketeer. It will end up killing the Bowler, unfortunately for us. Let's see if he tries to spam behind this. It'll be interesting to see. So I'm going to go for Skellies. Doesn't look like he wants to. I'm just going to go for a Poison, and then I log, and then I get back to another Collector. So what is he going to do here? Okay, he's going to drop something that's like worthy of getting Bowlered. Then I go in for a Collector. He did not deal with this Collector, so he's going to Fireball this one. If he does, I might go for three Muskies and then just Counter Push, because the Bowler is just like... It's sitting idle, and it's really allowing us to stack up. So this Bowler is chilling here. That's five Elixir on our map that really hasn't changed. I don't know how he's going to deal with this if I go in for a Valkyrie here. And then Ice Spirit, this Split Push is going to be pretty intimidating. He still hasn't even dealt with it, honestly. So the Valk's chilling, the Polar is still alive, the two Muskies on the left-hand side, piped up in rage, are going to decimate and dismantle all of his zappies. Goodbye, sir. Good night. Sayonara. I'm going to go in for three Muskies again, and I just don't even think that it's possible for him to win this matchup at all. So we're going to go for a Valk in front again, I'm going to go in for an Ice Spear because it's going to go and target the Muskie. Then I'm going to go in for Skeletons, and I can log and take out the tower. Actually, no, I can't. The Muskie will. So, GG, and well played, sir. 28 seconds remaining. You are literally on a timer. Your life is ticking away right before your eyes. What are you going to do, sir? He must be so, so upset. He's running spawner right into a bowler. Guys, I'm trying to make an impact in the world. Little by little, people stop running spawners because of me. If I'm able to make that change, I'm going to be extraordinarily happy. So, hopefully I can make that happen. That is the dream. That is the ultimate meme. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Guys, we are 11-1. and one. Let's make it happen. Let's get our 12th win right here, right now. Give me your energy in the chat, guys. I need it. All right, this guy's going in hot and heavy with a bandit. We're going to go in for Ice Spirit and Skeletons. We shut down that bandit. Goodbye, bandit. No hits. We're going to go for Collector in the back. And this guy, I read his name is Guacamole. Thank God I didn't say that out loud. Unfortunately, I do not have my poison. I would love to have my poison right now. So I'm just going to go in for a log, and then I'm going to go poison the tower. I know that we're up a little bit of Elixir since we did net a plus one trade there. Okay, so he's running a spawner deck. 
Very good for us since we do have bowler. <sighs> nice bowler. Nice. You were definitely supposed to hit that fire spirit, but apparently I did not pay you enough elixir. Do you want six elixir next time or what's up with that? Ice spear plus skeletons to make sure that we deny all hits from that. So he's going to be going in with a Electro Wizard Bowler combination. I'm just going to be going in for a Valkyrie to shut it down. He's going to go in for a Poison, so it might actually be a Graveyard deck, interestingly enough. I want to make sure that I get an Elixir advantage by just being able to Poison his Collectors. Despite him having Collector, despite him having Furnace, I feel like I kind of have an advantage. I'm not sure, though. I'm going to go for three Muskies. I might want to Poison that again, depending on what he drops here. So is he going to drop Bowler? He's going to zap it. Okay, is he going to eat up a lot of damage? Then I'm definitely going to go for a Poison. I just got to get a huge Elixir advantage. That's going to die. I don't actually have to respond to it at all. And I'm going to go in for Collector. Always make sure to Poison or Miner or do something to Collectors. Otherwise, the Elixir advantage that your opponent gets is just going to be devastating for you. It's going to be something that you can't catch up on. I try to drop Ice Spear. I missed the timing. Unfortunate circumstances. Okay, so he goes in for another Poison. He did not have an answer to my last one. So I'm going to go drop... <laughs> got bar putt as well this is such an easy matchup for us guys as long as i poison the collectors we got this in the bag easy snag this deck is super super good in this challenge i think i would definitely recommend this for all rage challenges i'm gonna end up going in for another set of nah uh, do i want to not really i'm gonna go for three muskies now after he uh, ends up dropping the band i can't let that connect to my tower and it looks like he's really just not able to do too much here i want to go in for a log on top of the fire spirits maybe oh we didn't end up hitting fire spirits but maybe the musketeer is able to finish off the furnace and it does barely and the musket gets on top of the tower okay good riddance hp man get out of here i'm gonna end up going for skellies he ends up going in for a collector i'm gonna go in for a bowler i'm gonna end up having to go in for an ice spirit and then a valkyrie thought he was gonna zap the uh, ice spirit honestly i was a little bit worried about that i'm gonna end up going for a poison yet again just denying all of his elixir advantage he's gonna go in for a uh, Electro Wizard, interestingly enough. If I go in for three Musketeers and then I have counter push potential, this is going to be really bad for you, man. Going to go in for a Poison. That means he has absolutely... He didn't even hit my tower. That's uh, a Mega Law, man. You can't even do anything about that. Easy. So is he going to zap this most likely? No, he zaps the other side. So then the... Oh, wow. The Bowler almost finished him off, guys. We're going to try it again. First, you don't succeed. Try and try again. And we're making it happen. I'm going to go in for a Poison. I just want to double Poison him out right now and then go in for a Log. I don't even know why he's going in for a collector. This is really bad for you, man. I go in for a log. I go in for another poison. And then you lose the game because poison does 300 damage. You are well within the vicinity. I'm going to go in for a Valkyrie to make sure your bandit does not actually hit my tower. It's not allowed in this juncture, man. Get shut down. Sit down, bandit. GG. Well played and peace out, Girl Scout. That is our 12th win. Let's get some hype in the chat. Dominance is asserted to the highest degree. 12-1, and one, we did lose one game because a dude ended up having... A Royal Ghost Mega Knight deck with Fireball. Really difficult matchup, but we still ended up persevering and getting a clean 12-1, guys. Let's see what we get out of the Legendary Chest. Come on, man. Bless me with a Mega Knight. You know you want to give me a Mega Knight. You're going to give me a Graveyard. Okay. Still okay. I need to level it up, but, you know, a Legendary is a Legendary. Very hard to get. Let's see if we get anything from this Rage Chest. And I hope that we don't get Rage because that would just be too much of a meme, guys. I can't deal with those level of memes today. We get fire spirits, we're gonna get mirrors, we're gonna get the big mama Pekka, bomb tower as well, royal giant, the giant, giant and royal giant, the cousin of the Santa Claus. We're gonna get Teslas as well. Rage, and we're gonna get another legendary. We're getting blessed, guys. Let's go. Thank you for giving me your energy, and then I get a Sparky. <laughs> oh man. I, I'm gonna be thankful, guys. I'm gonna be thankful of getting a Sparky, even though it's probably not the best card in the game. I'm still pretty thankful for it. Let's get some hype in the chat. A little bit of hype. That was a really fun challenge, guys. First try, we ended up getting a 12 and 1. I hope that they implement more challenges like that. I think it's really good content, and obviously it's nice to switch up the pace once in a while. Get out of grand challenges, get out of the ladder grind, and just play something that's different. Make sure to let me know what you guys think about the challenges. In coordination with the tower, we are thriving. He's actually going to just allow us to go in for Ice Spirit Skeletons. Two cards to cycle back to another collector, and he fireballs them? What?! Did you just fireball skeletons and ice spirit? Are you crazy? I split three musketeers at the river, and then he's very, very sad, guys.